Okay, this chest run, we're going to be chest running Pungwei Valley on hard mode. So we're going to need to go to Boris Seabed Outpost to get there. And this is one of the best chest runs in the game because you can get up to 5 chests per run in a short ish space of time and you will be able to find a lot of rare weapons in this chest because you will find J chests, Amphar chests, Kurzic chests, J Brothers chests, Plagueborn chest. So first we want to go towards that Yeti cave because the chest can spawn down there, it didn't this time. Always worth checking. Now our next chest is spawned over here in this Island Guardian, this will be a J chest. Now Island Guardians use SOJ which goes through shadow forms, so you're going to want to use an Iron Unstoppable to avoid being knocked down. You might meet Richless Tome from that chest, so that's a very, very good chest. That is 14k potentially right there. Now we're going to go down towards the sewer area where we're going to find lots of Amphar. But if you haven't done the Guild Beyond quest where you have to cleanse this area of Plagueborn enemies, you will find Plagueborn enemies here, so there will be the option to get Plagueborn items as well. But I have, so I don't have that option on this character. Right, no chest spawned towards the Sunjan District portal, but one has spawned down in this sewer. Now, I've had bow staff shot from this chest before. This time we got a hand axe. It's a core skin. Amphar chest drop a lot of core core skins. Now we're going to go up to out of the sewer towards this assassin boss that's way KO the deceptive. Sometimes a chest can spawn in this area, but it hasn't. Now we're going to go north or south, <laughs> I mean. Because a chest can spawn where I'm facing now, but it hasn't. Always worth checking. Now our third chest is a J Brother chest. Much like Amphar chest, these will drop a lot of core weapons, but you can get some rare items, like chromium shards and bladed shields, for example. Had a few spike targets from uh, JP other chests, so so all the chests over the west side will be Kurzic chests. Now, not all Kurzic chests drop the same items. If you look at the Echoval shields, for example, you need chests next to Stone Kirin. Undergrowths and Dragon Moss, and this chest here is next to them, so this has the opportunity to drop Neck of Out, but it didn't. Gothic Defenders can drop from any Kurzic chest, much like any Gothic weapon. Gothic Jewel Axes, Gothic Swords, for example, Gothic Axe. Same with Amber Ages. If you want Guardian of the Hunt, you're going to need to find it from chests next to Wardens. Which. So you can get Guardian of the Hunts in this area. This is our last chest, and it's one next to Dragon Moss. We could get an Echo out. If we didn't, we got a Gothic Sword. That is a core Kurzic drop. And that is the last chest of the run. So we're going to resign. 
That took about four to five minutes. And we've got five chests.